Hey everybody, it's Sal here again. I have um, a video here uh, which is actually a request. Someone has uh, emailed me uh, asking how to burn ISOs uh, to a disk. Um, so, quite simply, I use image burn, as you can see on the screen there. This is the, the first screen you see when you open up the program. You can download ImageBurn at www.imageburn.com. Okay, it's free. Uh, this is why I like using it. Uh, it it's free and it works. Uh, I use this for all my ISO burning uh, projects. <laughs> so basically, what you do is open up. You you download it, install it and you start it up image burn um, and when you have the ISO you want to burn uh, just highlight as you can see here write image file to disk so you just click it and you have the source so the source is the image file you want so I have a this is a pre Windows um, this is a Windows ISO uh, from their the candidate from like a year ago I still have it so here it is so you select the ISO you want then you click open and make sure you have a blank DVD in the uh, in the drive and all you do is um, just click the uh, this button right here see where it says right in the bottom bottom left hand corner of the screen where it has the uh, page and then the arrow pointing to the disk that will hi that will highlight when you have a blank a blank DVD in there I don't have one right now that's because I'm not gonna be burning a disk but pretty much pretty much th this is the way it is you got your 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 um, ISO selected the destination here which is my DVD burner this will light up here the uh, as you can see where the right just popped up that will light up you can and then you can just click that um, there's also the right speed here you see that um, for music people like to go low and slow just like uh, just like barbecuing you know two speed four speed tops uh, but for data I mean whatever I go the fastest they can go I'd, I haven't had a problem with it but um, I'll leave it up to you to decide how fast you want to go. But in terms of the viewer's re request today for this video, get image burn, open up the ISO, burn it to disk, and that's it. I think quite a few of my viewers are making the mistake of just burning the ISO right on to a DVD or CD disk, uh, and that's a mistake. Um that uh, they have to the ISO is an image file that's burned in a particular way than just dumping the um, dumping the ISO onto a 